Well, have you ever Googled your name and you were shocked to see just how much of your personal information is posted online? Yeah, it's off-putting to some to learn that your name, your address, the date of birth, phone numbers, even your relative's information is available through some websites for as little as a dollar. If you don't want sites to share all that data, you can opt out. Consumer expert Amy Davis joining us now to show you how. Yeah, it seems like at least once a week we get somebody who emails and says, have you seen this site? It's got all this information. Well, first, you should know that most of these people's search sites are legal. All of that information they provide is public, whether it's from the tax office or court records. It's really information anyone can get about you anyway. They just made it easier by pulling it all together in one place and then selling it. But some of those sites have website privacy policies, and you can request to have your information removed. A website in Tellius lets you type in a phone number to find out who it belongs to, along with the person's current and former addresses. We typed our producer's name into Spokio.com and instantly found everywhere she's lived in the last 17 years. These are just two of more than 250 websites in the business of compiling and selling information about individuals. According to Consumer Reports, you have no right to stop these people search sites from sharing your information. But fortunately, some of them let you opt out and have your information removed. If they promise that and you opt out, the site must take your information down. Well, we checked. You have to click around to find the opt out option on most of the sites. On peoplefinder.com, we had to click on the privacy policy link at the bottom of the page. That took us to a page with a link to submit your opt out request online. You do have to provide some information, which seems counterintuitive since you're trying to protect your privacy. But the sites need it to know they're removing the correct Amy Davis, for instance. If you don't see an opt out link on a site, it might rely on a big data broker. So you can opt out of all of the major ones, including Axiom, Ameridex, Google, Info USA, Intellius, LexisNexis, PeopleFinder, and Spokio. Now, if you don't want to go through the opt out process at each broker and website yourself, you can pay an opt out service. There's one called Delete Me that costs $129 a year. It covers more than a dozen sites that aggregate data. Nobody asked, but personally, I probably mm -hmm. wouldn't pay that because, you know, you do what you can, but it's public information. Right. So it's going to keep popping up. It's a lot of sure. money. Yeah. You can only bucks. do so much. Yeah. Right. So.